Hello. Today we're going to start down on our mat. Come into a tabletop pose. Wrists directly under your shoulders and knees directly under your hips, about hip distance apart. Inhale as you drop your belly to cow and exhale as you arch into cat. Do this a few more times at your own pace. Inhaling to cow and exhaling to cat. Arch your spine, tuck your pelvis. A couple more times. Come to a neutral spine and then begin to go in circles to your right three times and then in circles to your left three times, warming up those wrists. Bring your right fingers pointing towards your body and bend your elbow as your palm comes up off the mat, stretching into our forearms. Make sure your fingers stay on the mat here. Do this a few more times on the right side. Left fingers point towards your body as you bend into your elbow. Palm comes off the mat. Leave your fingers on the mat as we stretch into our left forearm. Bring the top of your hands to the mat, fingers pointing towards each other. You can leave your hands flat or you can cup them into fists as you do some push-ups. Your chest does not have to go all the way to the mat. This is just warming up our wrists here. Bring your hands to the mat and then sit back on top of your feet. Feet are facing down into the mat. You can roll out your wrists a bit here if that feels good to you. And then we're going to pick up our knees. This will be a nice stretch into the top of the feet and ankles. You can come down lower if that's too intense for the top of your feet or if you're quite comfortable here, you can bring your hands to your knees as you balance on your feet. Release your knees to the mat, and then you're gonna curl your toes under and sit back on top of your heels, stretching the soles of our feet. Take a few breaths in this position. You can do whatever feels comfortable for you here. If you would like, you can reach your arms up and do a couple of side bends as we take deep breaths in this pose. Bring your hands down to the mat. Big toes go together as our knees go out wide and sit back into a wide-legged child's pose. Arms are out straight and relaxed as our forehead comes to the mat. Reach your left hand over to the left side of your mat and then your right hand over. This will give you a nice stretch into your right side body. Take a couple of breaths here. Come into center as we go over to the right side of our mat. Left arm stretching out as we stretch into our left side body. Come back to center and then up to a tabletop pose. Curl your toes under and push your hips up into a down dog. You can pedal out your feet here, whatever's comfortable for you. Push your torso in towards your thighs as you walk your legs out and come up to your toes and then sink your heels down into the mat. We're gonna push our forehead near the mat about five times. So go at your pace with that. This 
we'll give our shoulders a nice stretch. Try to sink your heels back down into the mat. Make sure to keep a micro bend in your knees here, or if that's too intense, feel free to bend your knees a lot. Tiptoe your feet up to your hands. Inhale as you come to a flat back and exhale to forward fold. Relax your torso here. You can grab your elbows. That's comfortable for you. You can sway side to side to loosen up those hamstrings. Bend into your knees as you roll up. Stand at the top of your mat. Inhale, arms go up. And exhale as palms come down through heart center. Inhale as your arms go up. Exhale as you lean over to your right side. Inhale back to center and exhale as you lean over to your left side. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you come into a chair pose. Bring your palms to touch and down through heart center. Inhale, exhale as you twist. Hook your right elbow on your left knee and twist your hands to the center of your chest. Inhale back to center and exhale as you hook your left elbow to your right knee. Really push your hands to the middle of your chest as you exhale. Inhale back to center and exhale as you forward fold. Inhale with a flat back. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale as you place your hands down and step back to a plank. Exhale as you go to Chaturanga. Inhale through Upward Facing Dog. And exhale through Downward Facing Dog. Take a few deep breaths in your Down Dog. Send your right leg up high as we come into a three-legged dog. Bend your knee and open up that hip. We're going to do a couple hip circles. So pull your knee into your chest to the right and then squeeze your glute as it goes back. Do a couple more of those circles. Square your hips and then bring your right foot up in between your hands as you come up into a crescent lunge. Engage through your core as you push up and exhale as you sink into your pose. You can bring your pinkies towards each other to keep your shoulders back and down from your ears. Pivot your left foot towards the long edge of your mat as you bend into your right leg as we come into a warrior two. Gaze over to your right hand. Arms are parallel to the mat. Make sure your right knee is tracking over your ankle. Come into a reverse warrior. Side bend and then right forearm goes down to the mat as our left arm goes up high into a side angle. Bring your hands down to the mat. Inhale as you step back to plank. Exhale through chaturanga. Inhale through up dog and exhale through down dog. Send your left leg up high into a three-legged dog. Bend your left knee, open up that hip. Let's do a couple of hip circles. So we're gonna pull our knee into chest, out to the left and then back up. A couple more times into chest, out to the left and back up. Really squeeze that glute to get that leg up and back. Square your hips as you step in between your hands. Engage your core as you come up to a crescent lunge. Inhale and exhale as you sink deeper into your pose. Pivot your right foot towards the long edge of your mat as we come into a warrior two. If you need to adjust your feet, go ahead and do that. Bend into your left knee, squeeze your glute. Arms are parallel to the mat as you gaze over to your left. Go 
go into a reverse warrior right hand to your calf as you side bend over to your right left arm comes down to the mat as we reach straight up with our right arm opening up our chest and gazing up to the ceiling bring your hands back down to the mat inhale as you step back to plank and we're gonna hold our plank for about five breaths so keep holding keep breathing if your core is shaking, that's a good sign. That means your muscles are working for you. Go ahead and put your knees down on the mat and then come all the way down to your belly. Press up into Cobra as we inhale and down as we exhale. Inhale, push up to Cobra. Exhale down. Inhale up to Cobra and exhale down. Hands directly under armpits as we push up and back into a child's pose. Come up to a tabletop pose on your mat. Curl your toes under and push up into downward facing dog. Send your right leg up high. Step up in between your hands as we come into a warrior one. Your left foot is facing out about 45 degrees. Bend into your right knee. Arms go up as we square our hips to the front. Exhale to go deeper into your pose. Shoulders are back and down away from the ears. Pivot your feet to face the long edge of the mat. Toes go out 45 degrees as we sink down into a goddess squat. Bring your palms to heart center, and we're gonna hold our squat. Really sink down as low as you can, engaging through your core and your thighs. Bring your hands to your knees, and we're going to press our right shoulder in, and then our left shoulder in a couple of times on each side. This will give us a nice stretch through our shoulders and our inner thigh area. Come up to stand. Point your toes towards each other. Place your hand on your lower back as you come into a slight back bend. And then exhale as you forward fold, hinging from your hips with a flat back. As we come into our wide-legged forward fold, Press your shoulders up and away from your ears. Keep your hands on the mat and you're gonna come into a skandhasana to your right, over to your left. Walk your hands back over to your right as we come down to skandhasana on the right side. And then you're gonna pivot towards the front of your mat. Come back to plank. Exhale down through chaturanga. Inhale through up dog. And exhale through down dog. Take a couple breaths, pedal out your legs. Make any movements that are comfortable for your body. Send your left leg up high. Bring it in between your hands as we come into a warrior one. Right foot is out 45 degrees. Gauge through your core as you come up and bend into your left leg, sitting your arms up high. Pivot your feet to the long edge of your mat. We're gonna come into a goddess squat. Feet are 45 degrees out as we sink our hips down low hold and breathe in this pose sink down as low as you can really sink into those hips push up to stand toes point towards one another hands come to the lower back as we slightly back bend 
and hinge forward from our hips with a flat back coming into a wide-legged forward fold really try to relax your neck and head in this pose you can shake your head yes and no if that helps to relieve some tension there keep your hands on the mat we're gonna bend into our left knee as our right leg comes down flex your right foot coming down into skandasana on the left side push yourself up and over to the right side and one more time up and over to your left side pivot to the front edge of your mat bring your foot back into plank exhale down through chaturanga coming all the way down to your mat tops of your feet are placed onto the mat come up to cobra as you inhale exhale back down inhale up to cobra and exhale back down inhale up to cobra exhale back down inhale as we come into tabletop and exhale as we push into a child's pose take a few deep breaths in this pose relax your chest down to the mat arms are relaxed straight in front of you come up to tabletop Curl your toes under as you push your hips up into a down dog. Pedal at your feet, whatever feels comfortable for you here. Walk your hands back to your feet. Exhale as you come into a forward fold. Inhale as you bring your arms up overhead and exhale, palms come down through heart center. Step forward with your right foot as you keep your knees soft. Kick your left leg back. Foot is flexed as we come into a warrior three. Bring your hands down to the mat in front of you as we come into a standing split. Bend your left leg and bend your right knee as you bring your left knee behind your right knee and then kick back up. We're going to do that five times. Right knee bends as your left knee bends and kick that leg back up, really squeezing that left glute. Bring your left leg back down to the mat. Exhale as you forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale as you forward fold. Bend your knees and roll up. And give your shoulders a roll. We're going to do the other side. So step forward with your left leg as you bend softly into your knee. Keep your knee nice and soft as you kick your right leg back. Flex that foot we come into our warrior three bring your hands down to the mat as we come into our standing split now we're going to bend our left knee as we bend our right leg and bring it behind our left knee and then kick back really squeezing that right glue as you kick your right leg up three more times here Bring your right foot back down to the mat. Exhale as you forward fold. You can grab your elbows, really relax your torso over those thighs. You can sway back and forth to loosen up your hamstrings. Bend into your knees as you roll up. Reach your right hand up and catch a hold of your left foot as we come into a dancer pose. Exhale as you kick your foot back into your hand. Release your foot back down to the mat. Left arm goes up as we catch a hold of our right foot. Inhale and exhale as you kick into your hand, really opening up that chest. 
If you lose your balance, that's okay, I do too sometimes. So just come back to it as best you can. Bring your foot back down to the mat. We come to the top of our mat. Inhale as your arms go up. And we're gonna side bend to the right as you exhale. Inhale to center. And exhale as you side bend to your left. Inhale to center. Exhale, arms come down. We're gonna go into a tree pose on our right. So bring your foot to where it's comfortable. Place your hands to the heart center. Take a couple breaths in this pose. If you need a little bit more, you can always raise your arms up above your head. Hold here for a couple of breaths. Release your arms and your leg back down to the mat. As we come into tree on our left side, bring your foot where it's comfortable. Palms press together through heart center. A couple breaths here, or if you need a little more, always feel free to raise your arms up above your head and take a couple breaths in this pose. Release your arms and your foot back down to the mat. Stand at the top of your mat as you inhale, arms go up. Exhale as you forward fold. Inhale with a flat back. Hands come to the mat as we step to plank. Exhale down through chaturanga. Inhale through up dog. And exhale back to a child's pose. A couple of breaths in this pose. Come up to a tabletop pose and go into a Gomukhasana. Right knee is in the front, left knee comes behind as we sit back. Feet are about equal distance apart from the hips. If you need a little more, you can always bring your right arm up and the left arm back and behind as you clasp your fingers together. If you can't quite reach your fingers, feel free to just grab your shirt and knit your lower ribs in. Release your hands and unwrap your legs. We're gonna do this on the other side. So our left knee is gonna come in front of our right knee. Sit back into your sit bones on the mat. Feet are about equal distance apart from the hips. Get comfortable in this position. You can reach your left arm up as your right arm comes back behind your lower back and then knit your lower ribs in. This will help keep our lower back nice and safe. Release your arms and unwrap your legs. Dig your heels into the mat as we windshield wipe them back and forth to give our hips a nice release. Bring your legs out straight on the mat in front of you. Reach your arms up nice and tall as you inhale for length and then fold and catch a hold of your feet as you bend. If you can't quite catch a hold of your feet, you can always come to whoever is comfortable for your body. Inhale as you lengthen the spine and exhale as you sink deeper into your pose. Come up to your mat and then lay back. Adjust on your mat where you're comfortable. Pull your right knee into your chest. You can flex your foot. And rotate your ankle, massage your knee into your chest, and then pull it over to the left side as you gaze over to your right hand. Take a couple of breaths in this position. Make sure that your upper back and your shoulders are still grounding down into the mat.
bring your right knee back in, hug it into your chest, and then send it out long as you pull your left knee into your chest. You can wiggle your knee around, rotate your ankle, and then pull your left knee over to the right side. Left arm goes out as you gaze over to your left hand. Take a few deep breaths in this position. This twist is coming from your mid back. So make sure that your upper back is still grounding down into the mat. Pull your left knee back into your chest and then we're gonna come into a reclining butterfly. So bring the soles of your feet to touch as you lay on your back comfortably. Palms can face up and take a few deep breaths in this pose. We will set up in Savasana, so go ahead and bring your feet out long and relax them so they can fall out to the side. Try to unclench any tension you may be holding in your shoulders and upper back or in your face. Unclench your jaw and your face muscles. Take a few deep breaths in this pose. We're going to be here for a little while. If you're having a hard time letting go of any tension, squeeze your fists really tight together and then release them. Do that a few times. Squeeze really tight and release. That should help to relax that tension in your upper back and shoulder area. If your mind has begun to wander, bring it back to the mat, the present moment, how your breath is feeling and how your body is feeling. Maybe we've created space in our body that wasn't there before we got on our mat today. So really try to focus and take a scan of your body and how it's feeling in this moment. You may stay in this pose for as long as you want. If you are ready to come out, begin to wiggle your hands and your toes. You can stretch your arms up above head and then keep your eyes closed as you slowly come to your side. 
take a couple of deep breaths in this position, really relaxing, keeping the eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed as you push yourself up on your mat. Come to easy pose. Eyes are still shut and then you can begin to flutter your eyes open very slowly, getting used to the light. Thank you for joining my class today. Namaste.